Turco Pundit asks, could or should the U.S. sabotage the Chinese financial system to trigger a crisis there? Is it possible? Is it necessary? Is it risky? Is it too costly? That's a fascinating question because people do ask, look, if the problem is that China is growing too big economically uh, and that that will ultimately lead to a major shift of power from the United States to China, uh, wouldn't it be better to try to stop it? Uh, I have to say that whether it, I don't think it would be better. I don't think we want to trigger a crisis in China. Our goal with China should be to steer it toward greater and greater successful economic development and steer it away from efforts to exert hegemony uh, in its region. That requires a policy that's twofold, uh, both engagement uh, and working with China economically and also an element of containment militarily, which really consists of close relationships with American allies in the region, close relationship with Japan and Australia and Korea and India and Southeast Asia, all of whom are somewhat nervous about the rise of China, uh, with the goal of deterring China from a more military approach to the world and focus more on an economic approach to the world. And ideally, at the end of the day, the best thing that could happen for all of us is that China's economic liberalization does eventually lead to a political liberalization because even though a great power democracy in China will still pose some kinds of challenges, uh, I think it's a much more manageable challenge when two democracies are dealing with each other.